Right, RFK Jr. takes the stage with Donald Trump. His remarks about the Republican presidential nominee just hours after he suspended his own campaign for the White House. Good evening. I'm Maurice Dubois. Christine is off. The former president is calling the endorsement from Kennedy support from a member of a storied Democratic family. But Kennedy's siblings are denouncing the move tonight. So how will it impact the race? Dick Brennan here now with all the details for us. Dick. Well, Maurice, Kennedy said he's taking his name off ballots in battleground states, but curiously, he isn't dropping out completely, urging voters to support him in some red and blue states where he says he will remain in contention. Robert Kennedy appearing at a rally in Arizona and endorsing Donald Trump. We don't agree on everything, but on the values and the issues that bind us together. Earlier, Kennedy suspended his presidential campaign. By staying on the ballot in the battleground states, I would likely hand the election over to the Democrats, with whom I disagree on the most existential issues. Trump acknowledged the two haven't always gotten along. Trump had called Kennedy a radical left Democrat. Five of Kennedy's siblings in the meantime slammed his decision to endorse Trump, calling it a betrayal of the values that our father and our family hold most dear. Obviously, there's nothing about Donald Trump that is anywhere close to re reflecting the legacy of uh, Robert Kennedy's father and my uncle President Kennedy, my dad, anyone in my family. Uh, RFK's cousin Patrick Kennedy, the son of Ted Kennedy, says he tried to convince Bobby not to jeopardize a Democratic victory. I did talk to him earlier in the campaign about not competing in those swing states where I felt that he could cost us the election. He chose not to do that. CBS News polling shows Kennedy was generating 2% of the vote, though it's not clear yet where his supporters would go. The race in 2020, don't forget, was decided by 43,000 votes across three states. So just a little bit can make a big difference. Trump is now hoping to steal some of Kamala Harris's momentum coming off the Democratic National Convention. Donald Trump is an unserious man. <laughs> but the consequences, but the consequences of putting Donald Trump back in the White House are extremely serious. And CBS News reports the Trump and Kennedy camps have been having private discussions and sources close to Kennedy say that he would not make this decision today unless he had some sense that he could end up in a high ranking position in the Trump White House or the Trump administration. Maurice. Okay, Dick, thank you.